Welcome to our channel where you will learn how to save hours of your time every single week. In this video, we will go through how to link your Gmail to Google Sheets. You'll be able to take emails that you need to take action on, add a label to them, and have them automatically get added to Google Sheets. Uh, so then that way you can be able to create your to-do or task list automatically, and you can manually add new tasks to this list as well. So click the link in the description below. It will open up this copy document page. Again, you will need a Google or Gmail account for this to work. So from here, click the blue make a copy button. Once the spreadsheet loads, you can change the name up in the top left corner. Uh, also, this is just a template, so everything's preset for you. Don't recommend changing anything or the script behind this uh, could possibly quit working. So if you go into the extensions, tab and click app script it will bring you to this page here uh, let it load fully there's nothing in here that you will need to change with the exception of this uh, the text between the quotes here which is the label that you will find in gmail so you can name it whatever you want or just leave it as to do or task list or whatever you choose there uh, from here you will need to run it click review permissions select your account and then click allow but once you have run the script and reviewed and accepted the permissions for the first time go to your gmail account hit the refresh button at the top and you'll be able to find the to do and processed label in your label section from here you'll be able to take a email this is just a test email but anything from your inbox Go ahead and open it up or you can drag and drop it directly to the to do section or you can open up the email and go to the move or label button up here and select the correct label that you want. So in this case, I will just drag and drop it over to to do. And now you'll be able to see that it's in this section here. And as long as it's found in to do and not processed, the script will find it automatically. Um, but once basically you have this all set up on your own, it will be automatic. Uh, so here we can go back and click run. and you'll see that it gets added to this spreadsheet. So it finds the subject name, the senders in the email thread, the last email sent date. There's a link here that you can click that will take you directly back to that email, assuming that you are logged into that email account, and then you are able to click complete when you've looked after that task. So the last thing that you need to do is add a trigger to the script so that it will automatically look for emails in that label. Go over to the left side, click triggers, add trigger, go down to select event source, select time driven, and then type of time based trigger. You can select minutes and below that is the minute interval. Uh, in this case, probably five, 10 or even 15 minutes is sufficient, but we'll select five minutes for this case save and now every five minutes the script will run in the background and if there's any emails in the to do section it will automatically go through the process of adding it to your checklist and then add the processed label so that you can find them at a later date here if need be so that's basically the uh, entire walkthrough it should be pretty quick and easy to get set up after that first time of allowing the script to run and setting up your trigger, you should not have to do any more other than make sure you're moving that those uh, action emails to your to-do list. So that's everything for this video and uh, stay tuned for many more.